Oh man, this is a nice fish. Hey, this is Walt Matten. We're on a little bitty lake in Fulton County. Oh! And we're doing something that anybody can do. We're fishing with the worm yeast. It's a pre-rigged worm. And we're fishing out of kayaks so we can get to these hard to reach spots. And I'm joined by Bob Gillespie. And we're gonna have a good day, Bob. Hey, that's a nice one, Walt. Yep. It's a little, a little fatty. Yeah, this is something anybody can do. It's pretty much a real versatile lure and great for kids, great for learning how to fish, and even for guys like us that caught a fish once. Well, we do call it idiot proof. Hey, there's one, Walt, right off the shoreline. Feels a little bit better. There you go, Walt. There you go. Nice. Yeah. All right, there's a nice fish. We just switched over to a red and white 8 inch white with red spot, the worm, 8 inch regular, 3 hook. And he hit that on the second cast, right there on the second hook, right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect hook set. There's a good one. Oh man. I don't know what it is, but it's putting a putting a tight bend on this mojo rod. It's a big fat one. Oh, look at that beauty. Right on the worm. Bob's using a white one. I'm using a black one. Absolutely, completely different colors, but same result. Really nice, big, healthy bass. All right, baby. Thank you. There's one. This one feels like another nice, right on the edge of that weed line again. Just seems like you pull this worm right across the top of that weed line, and they just hammer it. Oh, oh all right there. There's a nice one. Nice healthy fish. I switched over to a little darker color. It started getting cloudy, now the sun's coming out again, but switched to a little darker color and he hit it on the second cast. Nice little largemouth. So earlier in the day, when it was sunnier out, brighter colors, brighter skies. Got a little darker, switched it to darker colors, darker skies. Always a good rule to live by. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm gonna drop this power pro, power pole here. Maybe it'll keep me from blowing around. Oh boy. There we go. Dig in. Well, he went right back into the weeds. I'm gonna get him out though. Afraid if I muscle him out, it's gonna come off. <sighs> He's under a whole lot of cabbage down there. Ooh. Ooh. He's a nice one. Uh. Oh yeah, look at that, cabbage and all. I found this nice cove back here where the wind's blowing in, about six, seven feet deep. Put down the micro power pole to kind of hold me in position so I could just fan cast all the way around this area right here. And I caught two fish, this is a nice one. You know, when you're fishing these worms, you definitely want to uh, keep retrieving all the way to the boat because I've had a couple of fish that have just come right up at the end. This one in particular just came and just, just took me right here almost to the boat. Oh, that's a nice big one. Oh boy. They're really nice and big and healthy here. And these aren't spawning fish either. These are just nice healthy fish. The idea of the worm is it has a corkscrew-like action to it. So one of the things that, that we like to do is you put a split shot a little, little bit above a ball bearing swivel. You definitely have to have a ball bearing swivel because this is going to be rotating all the time in the water. And if you don't have a ball bearing swivel and a little weight in front, your line is just going to get twisted immediately. On three, four casts, you're going to be completely twisted up. There's something, Bob. Ooh, yeah. oh. look at that baby. Nice. Yep. I was doing a little back trolling. <laughs> get out of those weeds. <laughs> Oh, it's one of those, it's a, no, it's a, it's a, it's a tiger muskie. Hey, oh. is that a pike? No, it's a tiger muskie. Get out of here. Yeah, he said they had some in here. Look at that. These don't naturally reproduce, so they're great for stocking in ponds. I don't think we've ever caught a tiger muskie before, have we, Will? No, not, uh, not I've bass never, fishing. never caught one bass fishing on a worm, that's for sure. Oh, slid right down. Slippery fellas. Yeah. Nice fish. Good there you job. go. Multi species. Nice fish. Oh, hey. 
Got one, Walt. You got one? Yeah, he's a nice one. Nice. Kind of a little weed bed up here in a little bit deeper water. Yeah, yeah. I got one, too. I was just pulling to the next spot. You got that one? I got one, too, yep. Ah, see who's oh, bigger. Man. Mine's gonna jump. Mine's going down the weed. He's starting to come up now. Oh, here we go. Mine's a couple pounder. Oh, he's got a little bit of cabbage on his mouth. Oh, you got a bigger one. Mine's a little, mine's a little junior model. Tell you what, the fish are turning on and this weather's moving in. I know we got ring gear on, but boy, oh boy. Caught a lot of fish today. Yeah, it's been getting kind of crazy, so it might be time to put the camera away. And yep. Put the camera down and do some fishing. It's do been a while since we've done some bass fishing. Do some bass fishing. Hey, next time you're out and about, pick up the worm. Foolproof way to catch largemouth bass like these. Until next time, this is Walt Matten and Bob Gillespie. Midwest Outdoors will be right back.